So the question is, explain how to achieve softer and smoother bow changes. Give me four things that will help you. Just like a swan hand like this. Mm -hmm. Especially at the? The uh, frog. Yeah. Okay, next one. Um, like looking at the watch. Now, the, the direction, the, the actual, the, the face of the watch is more important than just looking at the watch. You're actually looking. So what it helps is what? The tilt of your yeah. hand. You're, you're tilting it in, right? Okay, what's next? Oh, uh, what's next? When you play legato, what type of uh, bow, how, how, how should your bow be? Uh, evenly pressured, like even pressure throughout. The hair should be what? Full, but t -t 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 tilted. Like, like, yes, like, it tilts it inward, okay? So the hair is facing you a little bit, right? Do you understand? So you're not going to be like this. You're going to be a little like this. Like this, okay? So tilt is very important to keep the bow from not bouncing, right? Tilling sport. What's the next one? You said control of what? C control of pressure throughout the bow. Yeah, you want to be able to play uh, directional and be able to play in a oval or circle on your bow, right? Imaginary okay. oval, okay? From tip to frog. Okay, so let's actually, before we, let me, what do you think? It's up to you. Do you want to see if you can play along with me right now on the second with the second violin, or do you want to uh, practice a little bit and play with the duet that you you know I'm actually in the background playing your part? What, which one do you want to start with? I guess I'll try the um, the second guess, violin only or the duet. I'll try the duet one first, and then I'll try the second violin. Okay. Later. Two, three, four. <laughs> So practice where you mess up. Which was the bunch of accidental part, so it's done. That G sharp always started. Yeah, remember that like, there's a space. So try not to think about it as in, in um, some ambiguous space. Think of a space of a finger. In between those two notes okay so your sharp your g sharp into your um c should be what a, a finger space between those okay okay no i want to stretch i i, I wouldn't um I wouldn't shift, I would stretch. Your thumb always moves, but don't, that thumb right there would be what, like this. You would almost flatten your thumb just so you stretch for the third finger. You know what I mean? Try not to shift there. Do it again. Slow down the motion because this is very new for you. You've been shifting, no shifting. Let go of your, let go of your. Yeah, you have to let go to play that third finger. If not, you're gonna, your stretch is going to be bigger. Do you understand? The one to note before is the first finger, right? Let go of your first after that, okay? Try it. Those two fingers, two notes. First and then sharp. Yeah, and then now your, th your third finger should be no problem because your whole hand 
was adjusted. Your thumb across from the first finger is, is adjusted to the position. Before you had what? Your thumb and your first finger behind the tape. So think about it. So let's start from um, 10. Start at 10 first. Okay. Go any past than that. We're trying to get that part. Do you think that was easier? Yeah, no, I have to get the gods. I'm going. Yeah, because it, I don't want you to be a habit of being in, out of tune now. I'm trying to get you in tune, right? So go back to this video. Remember this part, right? You can write a tip or something, uh, or from on your page right now if you want to on ten. to a four finger at 16 right should be oh, easier yeah my two is four okay. oh yeah you're sure I can forget that part. should be easier now and we also play a four finger in your recording I heard you play it open but 17 is not an open A it's a four finger did you put a fourth there yes it's okay so okay I'll start at They've measured before. Okay. It's not there, right? So that's your homework right here is to play from there with me to there. Okay? So let's uh okay. Yeah, hope write it down. Homework number one is to play with the duet as well as the, the violin, violin two. two. Yeah, you're doing both. You're doing one. The one is to what? One is to help you listen to be uh, be aligned with violin two. You don't want to play violin two until you practice a little bit. So that's what we're going to do right now. So write down your homework. Practice with violin two. I mean, practice with the so duet. Right, the that's homework one. Because you're not going to record with me because you're, it's kind of cheating a little bit because I'm playing in the background with you, right? Your actual homework yes. two, so that's just practicing, right? Homework number two is what? Record with just the violin. Yeah, just with the violin two, okay? <laughs> a little bit darker and practice a few times because I think you've been it's a, a habit now to play it open isn't it you, you're, you, that threw you off yeah. just because you played the wrong finger right it's not wrong but it's easier the four finger is supposed to be easier just yeah. play it without the music for a minute and do it like a little turn a little cycle repetitions just so you can practice it because I know you're gonna think you're playing it go ahead so play a measure before, a measure after. Then, so now do it, now try to do it where you're not thinking about it and you're just playing it now. Good job. Good job. Now play with the piano now, or with the duet now. So do we start from 10 again? I could say just skip ahead until... Yeah, skip time. ahead. I can start from there probably. No, actually, I'll start like at 34. I don't know where this is. Oh, okay.
happened? That really threw me off. It's on. The second finger, when you play that second finger after the third finger, that finger is a neighbor's finger. Did you, you realize that? 16, the three into the two, the third finger on the, the D, the, on the A, the D, you know the D, into the uh, F, it's a neighbor. That means you play the third finger and then what? You, you sneak it on the other side, the string next to it, and it's right close. how close it is because your second finger is a little flat when you play for the fourth finger you stretch for it you're listening to what you're doing not perfect pitch you're using relative pitch to play that fourth finger based on the second finger that's flat yeah and then yeah okay so now play with the piano or the duet So go ahead and play the second violin and see if you can play along from there to 20. You should be more in time and very in time with me. So play the second mm -hmm. violin. Yeah, play with the second violin. So this is kind of scary, but I think you're ready. One, two, three, four. sinking yeah. below certain notes. Certain notes are a little too soft for you. So turn up a little bit so you can hear every note and then play along where you don't have to feel like you have to play softly so you can hear me. Or that would be wrong. Mm -hmm. That means you're playing, you're not maximizing the... Okay, definitely louder. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. and quarters while you're playing a dotted quarter followed by eighth so you're not um, lining up very well you know what I mean 
So if you look at the violin two, I have two eighth notes while you're playing one eighth note. Do you understand? Yeah. So you're trying to fit into my second eighth note, or my uh, one, two, three, fourth eighth note. Okay. Do you see it? My fourth one is a D, and you have what? An E. Yeah. So you're trying to play that note together. So don't rush your dotted quarter. You have to make sure you ha you can hear me play what? How many eighth notes before you play your eighth? Three eighth notes before you play along with my fourth eighth note. You're lining up with your my fourth eighth note, okay? So, and also, at um, 16, you rush. You rush those eighth notes. So four eighth notes, up bow, make sure they're evenly played. because we're online. If I was there, if I could just boom over there, beam me up there, I can just play that measure with you just like that and we've been done already, right? So now, make sure you're in tune, okay? Because when you play that fourth finger, sometimes in third finger, it's a little out of tune. Don't you notice that? Right? Like your note and my note together sounds a little bit, like I can tell which one is flat, right? Now try to play from the beginning all the way there, okay? You got it, beautiful. tune don't you notice that so one yeah. thing is you don't want to play along with me all the time for your homework you should kind of break off and try, try to work on intonation by yourself try to figure out how to be tuned before you start playing with me again you know what I mean great so now let's start at uh, uh, find a spot so at 40 is 40 seconds is at 14 so I'll write this down with little, little, little timestamps everywhere so you can practice, right? Yeah, 53 seconds at 17. Okay, so let me start here. Okay. my metronomic quarter notes. <laughs> Main thing is, yeah. use me as a metronome.
refreshing. So let, let me show you, okay? Measure, measure 24. Yeah. So just relax your brain for a minute. Now, I want you to listen to me play, but not play. Okay, so you're gonna do this. This is called silent violin. But you can do it, right? Okay, so pretend you're playing. So now, turn back at 53, but play it like that. Play your notes and try to fit into my notes, okay? Can I play the fingering on the violin? Yeah, just do it. I messed up when I'm playing a silent violin. <laughs> your eighth notes I slow down a little bit okay just a little bit it's like from so to try, do it again but anticipate that there is a change of a tempo a little bit just slightly like 81 80, like 90 to 89 or something like that okay just slowing down perfect I slow down actually so write th something down so you remind you that I slow down a little bit so uh, I, I think that was like to, uh, in the middle measure like the measure where I'm like da -da 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 -da. But put it down like, where you think it is okay because then it, that will help you so when you practice you, you don't get all surprised all of a sudden right okay let's see if you can practice all the way to the end we have about four minutes to play from there so let's look at 25 I'll, I'll look more at time step at 25 okay one colon 18 okay so that should give you some time to play at 25 so it should be like this this is what it sounds like okay so let me see <laughs> There's a little bit of a, what? A breath mark right there. So then we can come together at 25, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you write 118? At, what, 25, at 25, you wrote 118, right? Yeah. Measure 33, write 143. Okay, so let me see if you can play along with it. This is measure 33, okay? 
your breath. There's a breath mark, okay? There's a breath mark. Don't forget. Now. So at the end, did you slur those two notes? Because then you can um, start, uh, end on a down bow. So put um, a forefinger instead of open and measure 30, uh, measure 40. Yeah, because I slurred it because otherwise if I go like... Yeah, I don't want you to slur. Whenever I want I you to uh, really get on a down bow. So put a forefinger at the open E, make it fourth. So. So play where it, it ends on a down bow, not on an up bow. It looks weird. It, oh, it, sir. Yeah, try not to double stop until you get to the double stop. You play the double stop at the eighth note. Do it again. It was pretty good though. Good job, okay? So now you have everything set up, right? Now you get all the time stamps for the piece. So you don't have to play from the beginning just to get to whatever, right?